What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, got an update here on a couple of roster moves that are being made for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, you all know by now that Martavius Bryant was re-signed on a futures contract um it was kind of lost in the loss that we had to uh the green bay packers that was actually done last week um knowing that tony pollard is a free agent along with rico um the cowboys have also signed uh <laughs> since we don't have any running backs go figure um running back was a problem and we don't really have any so the cowboys solution is malik davis and scoops corner have both been signed to future contracts. Now, we have another loss here, which, um, you know, the Dallas Cowboys end up being like mad scientists. A lot of times, um, it kind of drives me crazy. Sometimes it works, but more times than not, it seems like it kind of messes up a player. We end up taking players and say, we're going to make you something else. Micah Parsons was a linebacker. Now we've made him a defensive end. We took um, Rico Gathers, um, and he could jump like a gazelle. And we decided, yeah, we understand you can run down the field and jump like a gazelle. We're not going to make you a red zone target. What we're going to do is we want you to block. So how about you put on about 40 pounds and learn how to block? He never really learned how to block, and he could no longer really run down the field. It looked like he was it was painful seeing him trying to get down the field. So one of the fan favorites and an international player we have the international players where basically you get an exemption for having a player who is an international player that you are going to try to develop isaac alacon who was an offensive lineman um they ended up having the program i want to say for three years and this beginning of this year they ended up waiving him and signing him on the practice squad where basically he has been his whole career and with that um the San Francisco 49ers have now signed him to a future contract. So that is a loss that we've having, we're having right now. Um, so, you know, these are the small moves right now. Teams are looking to try and find, lock up a few of the, the uh, players that may be more like projects and things like that to start filling out the rosters. Um, and this is where, you know, you're not going to see the major moves because free agency, for example, does not start until mid-March. And so these are the kind of moves that guys that are on practice squads that you can start making now um, for the future. So there we have it on that one. So we'll see what happens um, from here on. Uh, we do have some word on Dan Quinn may be the coach for the Seattle Seahawks and may be taking others with him, and we'll be working on that in a few minutes. All right, good people. I will talk to you on that one real soon.